Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial series of SAP Cloud Platform Integration. In this video, I want to talk about how you can implement custom retry mechanism when processing messages on SAP Cloud Platform Integration. One core capability of an integration platform is to decouple its connected systems so that messages are processed asynchronously. This way you can better deal with systems temporarily unavailable or situations where the receiving system could not handle the load. For SAP Cloud Platform Integration, asynchronous communication can be achieved by using JMS queues, assuming that the receiving system cannot be reached. So, messages are then stored in a queue, and retried from there rather than from the sending system. In a previous video, we have shown you how to set up an integration scenario supporting asynchronous communication using JMS queues. We have shown you which options you have to configure the retry in case of errors, and where you can monitor the messages and queues. You can configure the time intervals between retries, however, if the error still occurs the triggering of retries won't stop by default. In this video, we will show you how you can extend your integration flow model so that the processing will end after a specific number of retries. This can be achieved by adding an exception suppressus and a local process that explicitly handles the retry. We use the same integration flow model like in the previous video handling the standard retry mechanism. In order to decouple the inbound and the outbound message processing, you need to configure two integration processes. The first integration process receives the incoming message, and stores the same in a JMS queue. The second integration process reads the message from the very queue, and transfers it to the receiving system. In order to define the customized retry handling, we will enhance the second integration flow. For a detailed description of the integration flow model please refer to the previous video handling the standard retry mechanism. In this video we will focus on the required enhancements. So, let's stick to the second integration process that consumes the messages from the JMS queue. Here, we add an exception to process which at the end calls the local integration process which handles the retry. In the local integration process, configure a router right after the start event. Add an end event and an error end event. Configure the router as shown here. In this sample, we check the number of retries executed and after 5 unsuccessful retries, we end the processing and trigger a notification. In the route pointing to the end event, we check if the maximum number of retries have been exceeded. Here, we use the header SAP JMS retries that is set by the JMS adapter. If the condition applies, we remove the message from the queue so that no further retries are executed. The second route pointing to the error end event is defined as default route. So, if the message processing is to continue, an error is raised by the process. This keeps the message in the JMS queue and hence the message goes into retry status. If you deploy the integration flow, the specified queue will be created automatically in the message broker. You can check that the queue has been created in the queue monitor accessible from the operations view of the web application of your tenant. We can test the configuration by sending a test messages via the configured inbound adapter. By intention, we let the message going into an error. In the message monitor you can see that the message went into retry status. For each message sent, there should be two message processing logs. One for the inbound messaging that saves the message to the JMS queue, and one for the outbound messaging that reads the message from the queue. Since the error happens in the outbound messaging, the outbound message goes into the retry status. In the queue monitor, you see one message in status failed. You can see the number of retries that have already been executed and the time of the next retry. After the maximum number of retries have been exceeded, the message is put from the queue. This brings us to the end of the session. We would like to sum up. In this session, you have learned how to set up an integration scenario with explicit retry handling by extending the integration flow model with an exception to process. We have shown you how to stop the processing of a failed message after a specific number of retries have been exceeded. This is only a simple example how the standard retry mechanism can be extended. 
In the local process you may model more sophisticated retry logic. Thanks for watching.